Hey guys, what's up? My name is Vic, and this is the first part of the tutorial series for our mod Point Blank. If you don't know, Point Blank is a new mod made by my dad and I, and its main feature is being able to add your own high quality guns into Minecraft really easily, really quickly, and without any coding experience. Hey, this is Vic from the future editing this video, and I noticed that this video is about like 9 to 10 minutes long. You don't need to worry about that too much, it's basically just me explaining thoroughly, at least I hope I'm being thorough about it. Uh, all the stuff that's involved in the basics of the mod, it's nothing complicated. Thank you for watching. To get started, you should install Blockbench. If you don't know what Blockbench is, it is a software that lets you model things and you can implement them into Minecraft. And to make content for this mod, you also need to install the GeckoLib plugin for Blockbench. So you need to search for this plugin, GeckoLib Animation Utils. Once you have this installed, then you will be able to create content for the mod. Then to get started, you need to install the template pack we've provided on CurseForge. A way you can do this is by going to our CurseForge page for the mod itself, scrolling down in the description, and then clicking on this link will take you to our template pack extension page. So then if you click here and then download, you will have the template pack. So now what we want to do before getting into it is to load it into the game and see what happens. To do this, you need to visit your game's directory, go to the folder where your mods folder would be located, resource packs, saves, screenshots, etc. Make a new folder in there, title it point blank, open it, and put the extension pack in here, and you're done. Now, of course, for this pack to work, you need to have the mod installed itself. And there we go. For the mod to work, you do need to have Gecko Library installed, and you will have the mod installed, and there will be a new tab with the extension pack. The extension pack comes with some basic guns just copy-pasted from the main mod, but they're meant to serve as samples for you to copy-paste from, etc. Once you've confirmed that the mod works and the simple and the extension pack works, you probably want to get started on making a content pack. We want to open this. We want to extract here and then make a new folder and name that folder the name of your content pack dash ext. I'm going to put these files inside that I extracted into here. There's assets. There's some MC meta stuff. There's a Blockbench model provided, and there's README text. So the README basically says this is an extension pack. Uh, you can use it to make your own packs. You need to have Gecko Library installed, etc., etc. We can adjust some settings to change, for example, the pack name. So let's say I want to make um, a World War II guns pack. I'll change this. And this will change the description of the pack. So World War II pack. Now you'll be able to open the template gun block bench model. And assuming you have the Gecko library plugin properly installed, it'll also properly open the model. If you don't, it'll come up with this error message. And the last part of this video of part one will go over the modeling basics of how to organize your gun models. So you need to have a main group. Inside your main group is where everything else goes. Your gun, your magazine, your arms, your muzzle flash, and your scope. So let's just go over this stuff one by one. So you have the gun model itself. This is the model of the gun. Not much to it. And then you have the magazine. You can put the magazine wherever you want. It has to be inside the main class, but it could also just be inside the gun. This is also acceptable. doesn't really matter. If you want to have this type of tactical reload, you also need a second magazine group. If you don't want to have that animation, you can just delete it. Not a problem at all. And then you want to have your arms. The arms are important. You cannot change their size. So it's size 8, 24, 8. 
don't change their size, don't change their pivot points, but you can change their position all you want. So let's say if you're looking at the display data and you wanna and you're thinking, oh, I want the I want the left arm to touch the magwell instead of the barrel. You can do perfectly exactly that. Just move it like so, and there you go. There is not gonna be any problem with that. Oops, there's not gonna be any problem with that. And the last two pieces are the muzzle flash and the scope. Now, these two will basically serve as reference points for the mod to display the, the muzzle flash, where that's going to be, and the scope, where the screen, where the model will go on your screen when you aim. So, as for the muzzle flash, since the cube is positioned here, this is where the muzzle flash will be located. Obviously, you can move it closer. If, let's say, your barrel is longer, you can change the muzzle flash to be positioned over here. Now for the scope, this is what the first person view normally looks like, and you want to decide what the aiming position looks like. The way to understand is to move it to the center of your screen like this. This is roughly how it would look in the game. Now, keep in mind, the muzzle flash cube and the scope cube will be rendered invisible in the game, so you won't be able to see them. That's also why you can't see them on the main models in the main mod, but they are there. Now, of course, you can also change the scope. So let's say I want to add a sight to this gun. So this is the M4 model. Let's say I just want to copy paste it like so. Great. Now we have a sight. You don't want to have your cubes outside the main mod, the main group, by the way. So make sure they're where you want them to be. In this case, I'm going to put them in the gun file, but you don't have to do it like that. You can group these up, title it site, and then put it here. That's also acceptable. Or you can put it in here. It's also acceptable. Save that. And now I'm going to adjust the scope. This is basically on your personal preference. You can adjust it here. You can adjust it here, although it'll look funky in game. But yeah. And then when you aim, it'll adjust your screen, the position of your gun to where the cube is. The position of the scope depends on the sight. And then let's say, maybe you don't know if this is perfectly aligned. So for the case of iron sights, I'm going to move it here just to make sure. Oh yeah, I can see it's sort of above the little thing there. So I'm going to move it down a bit. And then I'm going to move it back, like so. And now the game will position it roughly like this. It'll render the scope invisible. You'll be able to see the sights, etc. Now the reason why I'm moving it back here instead of just having it here is because if it's over here, the game is going to put the camera over here. So you're not going to see the front sights. So. You want to have your cube roughly in front of where your camera is going to be. Like so. Keep in mind the camera is not located where the cube is going to be. It's going to be located somewhere over here. You can mess with the display data however you want. The animations are also important too. I can also just delete this animation altogether and make my own custom animation if I want to. Reload empty. I'll set it to loop. This doesn't make a difference. I personally set my snapping to 30, uh, but you can do 10 or 50. That was 150. Um, I personally set mine to 30. It depends on your animation preferences and style and whatnot. And then this is a fresh new animation. I can make it however long I want. This would be 3,430 milliseconds long. This is the inspect animation. These animations are basically copy-pasted from the main guns in the main mod. You can change them however you want to. Okay, so let's say you have your content pack ready to go. You've had your, you've added your guns, etc. or whatnot. And what you want to do now is compile the pack and load it into the game. It's a pretty simple process. Earlier, we made this folder, sample ext, or whatever you called it. Um, 
this folder will load into the game with the guns however uh it's probably more consistent to go inside and then so these two files are probably not probably not going to be included in the pack so you can just highlight these and then compress these into a zip folder title it your pack name dash ext and then move it into this folder and then you would be done probably having these duplicates is not a good idea so move these like onto your desktop or something this is basically your workspace and this is the pack itself and then that about covers how to create your own extension pack that concludes the first part of this tutorial series of how to create your own content pack for point blank the next part will cover how to create a basic gun it'll cover how to make you could make an asarifle or an smg or a pistol or an LMG.